Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a moment since I've sat down to film and I'm wearing lipstick today and I feel like it's certainly all over my teeth. I never wear lipstick because I don't like it, but I just picked up, they had like a mini pack at Sephora of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and original lipstick and I bought it and I actually really like it. Pillow Talk is like her nude flattering shade that's supposed to like flatter all skin types. Um, and I am actually really liking it. It's kind of just like a My Lips But Better color for me. Okay, we're not talking about makeup today. We're talking about home haul things. <laughs> Lifestyle, home decor situations. This is kind of a really random home haul, but it's still, I got I have a lot of cute things. Mostly affordable, you know, like under 20 bucks. Things that I just wanted to share. If you have the similar aesthetic as me or similar vibes, you just like colors or things, this is for you. I've been doing tons of home hauls. My last home haul, just like generic home haul, had a lot of pot, like plant pots in it. I only have two in this one. So if you're not into that, don't worry. I have other things. Um, I have a lot of dish hand towels. I don't know what happened, but I have a lot of those and just like really random, weird, cute, cool things. <laughs> and from an abundance of places, we got home goods, one thing from Target, Crate and Barrel randomly, Anthropology, Urban, just a random array of things. This video is kindly sponsored by Karma, which used to be Shop Tagger, the artist formerly known as Shop Tagger, which you guys know I use and love. One of the most frequently asked questions in my DMs or in comments is, what's that website you use to save things and it lets you know when it goes on sale? It is Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger. So Karma is basically a website and an app where you can create an account for free. It's amazing. And you can basically make what I like to call wish lists. On my account, I have my wish list and then my favorites list. My favorites being some of the higher end beauty products that I buy regularly. And then my wish list being things I want to try or things that are just a little more expensive that I don't want to buy full price. And Karma will let you know either via email or push notification on if you use the app that your item is on sale or back in stock, which I've gotten quite a few things to, thanks to ShopTagger or Karma <laughs> letting me know that it's back in stock. They also have a little buddy that pops up at the end to search for coupons, which is super helpful. And they also have a cash back feature where you get paid back through PayPal, which I'm a huge fan of PayPal. That's a random tidbit about me, but it's free and it's super easy. All you do is you go to Chrome and you download the extension, you plug it in, and then basically any of your favorite websites you can save to your lists. And then when you wanna take a look at your list, you can go to the Karma website and just scroll through your lists and rearrange them and edit them down if you'd like. You could even take like the same, let's say I want a perfume and I would, like, I, and I have done this. I take the perfume, I add it from Ulta, Sephora, and Nordstrom if it's available on, on all three. And then that way, if there's ever a sale on it, it will let me know. It's fantastic, it's easy to use, and it's free. Like I said, it's just amazing. It's a great tool to get organized and save money. So I will have a link in the description bar down below that you can click. It'll take you right to it, you can make your profile. I hope you do it, because it's really fun and easy. And helpful. And thank you again to Karma for sponsoring this portion of the video. I truly sincerely love using it um, and I hope you guys enjoy using it too. But okay, let's get into it. I do have something really random. We'll start with that. I might lose some of you, but just stick with me. So I am really into crystals. <laughs> it kind of started just because they are gorgeous. They're pretty to look at. I love decorating with them, but as I've learned more and more and I, you know, I'm around them more and more, I definitely feel called to certain crystals, which I know I'm gonna like sound crazy with this. And even if it's a placebo effect, there's just certain crystals I love the properties of and what they're supposed to do for me. My two favorites are rose quartz, my absolute favorite, and my second favorite is obsidian. Obsidian is just a black crystal that is, it's like opaque, you can't see through it. And I just think it is so beautiful, number one. Obsidian is supposed to ward off negativity and I really enjoy that. Whether it's working or not, I like that idea. So I wanted a big chunk of obsidian for my son's room. <laughs> and again, it's just cool to decorate with. It's just something to add height and different texture and it's just pretty. Like I really truly love decorating with crystals. I have them everywhere. Well, I will once I get unpacked. <laughs> and no, I'm still not unpacked. We can talk about that later. Also, um, we have started the nursery. We did like a nest with me where we started it. I will link that up in the corner if you wanna see what it looks like, but we have an accent wall that's just basically black and white. So black is definitely, I don't know, people ask me the colors of my nursery. There are no colors. I like all colors. I didn't really wanna put ourselves in a box with a theme. So we have a lot of black and white stuff. The crib is gold, which is my favorite part. I wanted a gold crib regardless of gender, just cause I thought it was awesome. And I actually really like the crib we went for. Well, so far I haven't used it yet, but just <laughs> so far I'm really into it. Um, so I wanted a big old chunk of black obsidian in there. And I actually found this on Etsy and it's a listing that you can buy over and over. So they have a 
few chunks. I will link it down below. The um, like description picture, the listing picture is wildly misleading. Like she looks like she's holding a, a chunk five times this big. And then the reviews let me know that it's wildly misleading, but the reviews said it was a great crystal regardless of it being much smaller, and it is. It's still a really good solid obsidian chunk. I bought it when it was 20% off. It might still be on sale. Um, but it was under $30 for me. So it's around 30 even if it's not on sale. Um, and it's a good chunk of obsidian. And even Bradley was like, I like that. And I'm like, yeah, it's just obsidian looks good. And I just, I like the added properties of it's supposed to ward off negativity. So I got that from my son's room. Purposeful decor, that's what we'll call that. And yes, I like phallic shaped crystals. I just like, I don't like them because they're phallic shaped. I like them because they stand on their own. They add some like height and dimension. I love the point. So yeah, just like crystals that are either in a tower like this or a free form standing one. That's kind of what I like because they're easy to use in decor. But then you can also hold them and feel, you know, the properties as well. Now let's move on to anthro because I got some exciting things. This is kind of a hodgepodge of going, let me, the first thing, let's start with this. I actually bought this a while ago. I bought this when I bought my desk, which I haven't shared yet. I think I've shown like sneak, peek, sneak peeks on Instagram, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. That's like uh, when I'm majorly slacking here, I'm still probably slacking on Instagram, but I share much quicker updates with Instagram just because it's easy. <laughs> but I did give a sneak preview of my new beautiful desk that I did buy from Anthropology. I splurged. But because they were having, I believe a 30% off everything sale. I was already on the fence about this desk and then it went on that sale and I was like, yes, I'm buying it. Also the stimulus had just came in, come in so I used it for a desk. <laughs> and it is gorgeous. I can't wait to show you in an office tour whenever it's all done. Um, but with that, I also bought this lamp, which I'm obsessed with. Let me take this out because I feel like it kind of ruins it. I need to get a better like vintage looking bulb. But it's just this standalone little um, desk lamp is what it's called. Bradley was like, why is it so small? And I was like, it's a desk lamp, honey. <laughs> you guys know I'm a bitch for scallop. It has polka dots all over it. I love the antique gold of this thing to turn it on and off. And it just, the bulb is revealed. And I just thought it was super cute. I'm, tr I'm still configuring the furniture in my office, but whether it's on like my tall set of drawers or right on my desk, I just am obsessed with it. So I bought this. But also this could go anywhere in our home. So I was just like, you know what? It's 30% off, add it to the cart. I'm obsessed. For now, we just have this light bulb in it because I don't know, Bradley handed me a few light bulbs. It's like, see which one you like best in there as far as light. And this one was kind of more warm toned. So I just have that in there for now. But I do want to get like a vintage cuter bulb for it. But yeah, like I said, I ordered this a while ago. It was on back order and it just got here this week. So um, I'll link it. It's probably not on sale anymore and it still might be on a back order, but if they have it, I will link it for you. As well as whatever else I can find. For ones I didn't have to lock Ludo out of the room, he's in here. He's just under the chair that I'm filming in. He's ever, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, ever since he was a puppy, he's liked to be under things. He likes to be in dark spaces while he's sleeping and he's under the chair I am in right now. He's tired today. Oh, he just sighed. <laughs> All right, this is the first of many dish towels, hand towels that I'm gonna mention. I sneakily bought this <laughs> without my husband um, because just it's cheetah print, you know? And I don't even think cheetah print, like, I mean, it is girly, but I'm not really worried about that. Even if you are a girl or like girlish things, cheetah print is just not everybody's favorite. It happens to be my favorite. I think cheetah print is a neutral. I love it so much, but I bought this just because Moving in, I was gonna say, moving in, we have more bathrooms and whatever, we have more of a reason for hand towels, but I already had so many. So I have no reason to be buying as many hand towels as I am, I just am. I saw this one and I loved it. I actually really like the quality of Anthropology's towels. We don't buy their full towels because we just buy white ones from Costco, but I love their hand towels. I have quite a few and they switch them out regularly, so there's always new ones. So I got the cheetah one. This one's actually cool because it's somewhat double-sided, so it's like, it's still cheetah print on the other side, it's just a d different color. Um, but I put this in the downstairs bathroom and Bradley, I don't know if he was referring to the cheetah print or color of it, but he was like, I love that towel. I think it's just because it feels good. So, wife win for me. But I love this and they have this in like the full bath towel set. So washcloths, hand towels, and then bath towels. This is super random, but I love it. <laughs> So we have like an open, I feel like my boobs are just like popping out. Sorry about that. We have like an opening sitting room type situation in this house. We kind of have an idea with what we're gonna do with it now. Not anything special, just like we have an idea of what kind of furniture we want in it, what we wanna keep in it. We eventually would like to, um, well, he's, we're actively searching for a piano on Facebook Marketplace. Bradley just wants like an upright, I think wood piano. Cause he likes to play and he would like for 
if our son wants to to play um, just have the option whatever that's <laughs> doesn't matter for that front area of the room we just have some random furniture and I'm just trying to like decorate it so it looks nice all the time and I have a whole bunch of random like furniture that's also doubling obviously as storage but I just thought for on top of it you know I don't I'm trying to decorate with more than just plants because those are my favorite things to decorate with but like you can have too many plants I'm not there yet but you can so I saw this they called it the an art cube art puzzle cube it's basically a Rubik's cube but it's not like just the colors it's like these fun prints so there's a rainbow which is super cute some fun just prints green and pink my favorite part was this face. Something about faces with eyelashes, like I just love it. Some little peaches or tangerines, some leaves. Um, so just it's just was really cute and I don't know, entertaining for a guest if they want to use it. But mostly it's just for like fun, different table decor or shelf decor. We ugh, we're having actually our issues are solved. I, I mentioned in a vlog that I'm pissed at Home Depot and Wayfair and I won't be spending money at either of them ever again because they just were a nightmare to deal with. Everything is resolved now. Money has been given back to us now. And I will explain that in a vlog. I need to, because I told you I would. Why did I start the story? Oh, eventually downstairs, we bought a piece from Wafer to go kind of in like, we have this like concave situation. We wanted a piece of furniture and then some shelving. Um, that didn't work out. So I think we're gonna look into getting a custom cabinet made. And then we want shelves. And there's gonna be so many shelves for books and whatever else you wanna keep on it. And you need knickknacks for shelves. So whenever I see something that I like the colors or it like just catches my eye, I buy it. Cause I'm like, we will have tons of shelves down there and I need to decorate them. Speaking of peaches or tangerines, are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me? This, it's as if I made this for me myself. So this is a planter with a drainage hole, which is very exciting. I feel like normally anthropology does not put a hole in there for drainage, which a good tip is just to drill a hole in the bottom or a few holes. Obviously not every single pot that you buy that doesn't have holes can be drilled into, but if you can, it's a pretty simple and easy fix and drainage for your plant just makes your plant so much happier and healthier, so. If you can, drill it in there. Not a huge deal if you fall in love with a plant that doesn't have a drainage hole, but it's always a huge plus when they do. They have three sizes. This is the medium one. The bigger one had lemons, then it had, I'm gonna assume oranges, cuties, tangerines. And then the smaller one was cherries. And I was gonna go with the cherries, but I was like, no, this is just gorgeous. And I'm gonna love a green plant coming out with the orange and the scallop, like I just could die. And the pink on the inside. Don't even get me started. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with it. And it was $28. So one of the pricier things in this haul, but completely worth it because my God. And this is super random, but again, super cute. It's just like this random round purple light lavender candle that has a wood burning wick, which I'm really excited about because those sound really pretty. But what I liked most about this is there's no scent. I'm pregnant. I'm really, really sensitive with scents right now. Like I just can't. Can't do them. So we haven't really burned a candle. I don't really diffuse oils right now. There's a few combos that I can stand, but even still, I don't do it every day. I found that it's the repetitive sense for me that after a while, I'm just like, I cannot smell that anymore. No, none of you asked, but that's an update. But that was extra intriguing to buy this because there was no scent to this, but I do miss, you know, like lighting a candle in the evening when I'm in bed, whether I put this, um, somewhere out here where I can see it when I'm laying in bed, relaxing at night or by the tub. I just thought it was so cute. So anyway, <laughs> I'm apparently in the mood to chat, but you knew that when you saw the length of this video. So it's this cute little round candle, which, oh my gosh, so cute. And then it has this little perch that it sits in. Um, so obviously the candle is cute and I love purple and everything, but I really just liked the perch because I can use this over and over for um, pillar candles or whatever I can get to fit in there. Um, and I just thought it was cute. And I loved that it's like white with this like subtle almost a rainbow design, but like off colors. Yeah, I picked that up too. Isn't it cute and random and weird, but lovely. Okay, so now we'll take a step down. Am I in focus? I feel like I'm not. There we go. Now we'll take a step down to Urban Outfitters. That sounds rude, but I just, <laughs> Urban Outfitters and Anthropology, I believe are still owned by the same situation. And they're very similar, just Urban. It's a bit more affordable most of the time can definitely still be pricey. Um, but I ordered a bunch of stuff. A few of the things I ordered are back ordered, so I don't have them to show you, but I'll put in little pictures. First one was this really cute mushroom pot for the stove. Like I died when I saw it. That won't be here till July, but I don't care. I had to have it. And then, like I said, we're getting a new couch and we want a bunch of just fun cushions for the couch because it's going to be a bit 
bigger than what we had before. And this was a cushion that I've always seen in Zoella's vlogs, Zoe Sugg's vlogs. I'm sure she hates being called Zoella, <laughs> but it's a cushion I've always seen in her vlogs where it's just like a winking face. Again, I'm a sucker for faces, um, but it's just like a cream color with a black lady face with eyelashes. Um, which I thought that would be cute anywhere. The bed, the guest bed, the couch, a cushion for a chair, just like, I don't know. I loved it, so I ordered that. That is back ordered. I also ordered some random hair stuff, which I didn't show you in this video because it's a home haul. Um, but I also got three hand towels. Yes, three, and they're all very similar, and I don't want to hear it. I've been obsessed lately with waffle weave situations. I bought another, like, hand dish towel from Target that's a waffle weave. It's pink, but this one had a ruffle. Look at that. And I love this color. It's just like a... I don't know, what would you call this? Like a muted navy almost, like it's just a blue. It's just beautiful. But I love the ruffle so much. And I think these could work in the kitchen or in the bathrooms. But then I also got it in the matching mustard. Same thing, just in a mustard color. I'm really drawn to mustard. We were debating getting a mustard bedspread, but I think we decided against it because it seems intense. But we scored and we got some mustard colored, um, just kind of like armchairs for the opening room. I need once that opening room is done, I will update you. I'll update you in a vlog anyway. I'll show you around. But we scored at TJ Maxx. Got two mustard chairs for a hundred bucks. Like it was the biggest score. And we love the color. So now we're just really into mustard. Me and my husband. And it's also my sister's favorite color. But that doesn't matter. Anywho, I got the matching mustard. But then I also got another ruffle towel that's kind of mustard, but more like puke mustard, but it has a ruffle and it's like more linen than the waffle weave. So just like I said, dish towels color, and I'm not even done with them in this video. Two other random bits, this little mushroom. I love mushrooms. I always have because I they remind me of Alice in Wonderland. I also love to eat mushrooms, but that doesn't matter. Oh, we're getting some more brightness. Great. How do I look? Frizzy. But I just, I, I think mushrooms are in right now. They're like, they're pretty popular because they're so cute. So they should be. Um, but this is a little photo stand. So I thought this would be cute for a shelf, even for the baby's room. Like I could put a little picture in there, put it on a shelf or any shelf in our home, in the kitchen somewhere. I don't know. I just thought it was cute to put a little Polaroid in or a picture that you printed out. Or if you have like an invite you want to display in your kitchen, you know, like a baby shower invite or, you know, whatever. I just loved it and I think it was like eight dollars and I was like yep have to have it and then something I'm always I just always love them and I'm going to probably build more of a collection a little berry basket this one is so cute it's mostly like red and orange but it's just like a really small flower print it is so cute oh my boob my boob <laughs> my baby's moving I'm not gonna lie I was like terrified to feel my baby move for the first time just because like and sometimes it does give me anxiety because it's just a reminder that something is literally living inside me and it's like it's too much <laughs> but I actually really enjoy feeling him move but if anything it's like it tickles <laughs> I told my husband the other day because he's really ticklish I'm like you would not be able to do this because sometimes I literally laugh because I'll be in a weird position and he'll do something like right up on the side of me and I'll giggle because it just is so ticklish um so it's it's still it's a very odd sensation but I do love it anyway sorry he moved and it distracted me these are great for a multitude of reasons one you can like wash your berries that you buy at the store and keep them in but for me I am planning on having a plethora of like tomatoes I'm trying to grow I already do have them growing they're coming in hot and I'm so excited and especially this year I have a backyard now and I have garden beds which hopefully that video is up by now us building our garden beds but just as far as harvesting whatever I'm growing outside whether it's lemons limes herbs um, cherry tomatoes just random stuff I like to have little dishes like this that they can be in organized it could either go in the fridge or out on the counter and they're also just cute berry baskets man they're very cute but very very helpful okay now i have a couple random crate and barrel things and this was from an instagram ad they got me they showed me this towel on instagram they knew me and they were like yeah bitch you need this and i was like yeah bitch i do look at these ice creams are you kidding i think they technically call it the gelato towel or something like that had to have it look at all these different colored and flavored ice creams like i don't even know what the orange would be but I don't care. I love it and it's just so cute, especially for like summer, probably only for summer, but it just, I love it. And again, you could use it in the bathroom or the kitchen, you guys. <laughs> Told you. Hand towels galore. But you guys, it's so cute. Then while I was there, I was perusing and I found this plant pot, the other plant pot I bought in this thing, this thing, this haul. <laughs> but how cute is this? I love this. I love the brown. I love, it looks almost like sprinkles kind of, but again, no, no, no hole. 
And this is ceramic, so I don't even know if that would work. I'll ask Bradley. But this is called the Duarte Footed Planter. I wanna say it was around 20 bucks, but I thought this could go in my son's room or just anywhere in the house. It's a nice neutral color. And again, I will love the green coming out of the brown color. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, I picked that up <laughs> for no damn good reason, but that I liked it. And that was it from Cran Barrel, just a quick thing. I did a Target haul in my last vlog and I bought more home decor stuff, I think. I don't even remember, to be honest, but I'll link that up in the corner if you wanna see that. If you're not watching our home hogs, <laughs> what? Only hog in this home is me. If you're not watching our home <laughs> vlogs, please give them a try. I know that vlogs aren't for everybody, but if you just like, like if you enjoyed this kind of video, I think you'll enjoy the home vlogs because they're just kind of doing stuff around the house. Lots of time lapses, lots of like unpacking, decorating stuff, um, just what we were up to. And I do try to make them a little more like highly edited with fun music and all that. I know a lot of you watch them and enjoy them, but if you haven't given them a try, I ask that you do, especially because I kind of feel like with baby on the way and it's things dwindle down to it. Those are just the easiest for us to do. Just pick up the camera as we're doing stuff. So yeah, I don't know why I started talking. Oh, the Target haul. Also in another home vlog. <laughs> home hog. That's me. Uh, and another home, the one before that, I don't know, I lose track, but I did a world market haul, which was really, really good. If you're enjoying this, I would go check that out. I'll link it up in the corner. Lots of like dishware, some more dish towels, some napkins, some candle stuff. Just, I really enjoy the world market home stuff. We just ordered bar stools from there. Things are coming together. But back to Target. <laughs> so I, I did that home haul and then we, we had a return. I bought a desk actually, um, a vanity type desk that I didn't end up liking. It was too big and whatever. So we returned it and then we were at Target and I was like, let's look around. And they had this dish towel and I love it. It's by Opal House. This feels more like a bath towel, but it doesn't matter. You can still dry dishes with it, but it just, I loved the rainbow print, but it had like mustard and pink in it. So it's basically red, mustard, teal, and pink. Um, little checkers and then it does have little rufflies at the end. I just love it. I warned you guys about the dish towels. A bitch is obsessed. All right, and then lastly, just wanted to share a random home goods find. Um, I know that home goods like hauls are annoying because you can't always find the same shit, which actually I will insert footage, but um, we've lucked out twice at home goods with furniture pieces. One of them is in my bedroom. I'm staring at it right now. I am obsessed with it. It's just kind of like this carved out cabinet thing. And then we also got, it's a literal dupe for a anthropology nightstand. But so don't, um, my point is don't discredit home goods when it comes to furniture. I know that like it's not always the best quality, but my very favorite piece of furniture I own is from home goods. It's um it was in my old apartment. It's that it's got the cabinets with the blue and the green. It's where I kept like all my Halloween pieces and stuff. It's just so pretty. It's in our dining room right now. And there was this piece that I had my eye on. I don't know, we frequent home goods right now because we just need everything in life. And there was a piece I had my eye on and I one day I was like, Bradley, let's go back and get that piece. And he's like, okay. But I was also hesitant. I knew to be hesitant and weary because it was in the sale section. And usually if it's on sale at HomeGoods, like it's damaged. And I just, well, I hadn't inspected it fully yet. So we ended up going, it was damaged. We didn't get it. And I was bummed. But we ended up finding this bitchin' mirror. It is so cool. I will insert footage of it now. Um, I don't know if we're gonna keep it the pink color that it is or paint it something else. I think we're gonna use it in our powder room downstairs because we're gonna totally redo it. We wanna do like a fun print on the walls. We want to replace the floors in there. Just like cosmetically totally redo it. We're not like moving plumbing or anything. Bradley and I are both on board. It's, it's just like a smaller area downstairs where we could like really have some fun with like a bold print on the walls or bold tile and then, you know, something like that. So this mirror is very like gaudy and Victorian and I love it. It is so cool. I even like Bradley was like, is that cool? And I was like, Bradley, shut up. I'm not leaving the store without this mirror. And we had it in my cart, in our cart. We were pu pushing it down and some woman stopped. And she's like, that is a gorgeous mirror. And Bradley's like, did you pay her to say that? And I was like, no, it is a flawless mirror. It is so beautiful. So that was worth, I was upset about the furniture piece, but that was totally worth like the home goods trip. And then also in the sale section, which nothing's wrong with it, so I don't know. But this cute little berry basket bin, isn't it so cute? First of all, it smells like the pumpkin patch in a good way, not like the gross like horse droppings way. But it just smells like hay bales, but it's so cute. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I guess you could also look at it as a tomato but I think it's a strawberry just because of the shape. This could go anywhere in our house, honestly, but for now we have it in the baby's room because I don't know, I just thought that was cute. As I'm learning, bins and baskets are great for storing things and especially ones with tops. Like, hello, I could put toys in here. I guess that's really it. I don't know what else we would put in here, but it's just so cute that I picked that up and it was like 10 bucks and I was obsessed, so. 
yeah. But okay guys, that is it, which I always feel silly saying that's it, because like I literally talked your ear off for like, what, 45 minutes? Probably not quite as long once I edit it down a bit, but I've been here chatting at you for a while, so that's it. <laughs> that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this just random home haul. And I'm sure there'll be more in the future if you want to see more, so let me know. I have like a whole house home organization playlist that I can link up in the corner if you just want more house stuff. You know, not even necessarily house, but just like home lifestyle stuff. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Whatever I can link down below, I will do so for you. I hope you guys have a great day, whatever day it is. And if it's not great, I hope tomorrow is better. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.